if we need food to get us through. <laughs> That's okay. Then we'll get through with food. That's right. A little bit of exercise, a little bit of meditation. Starting off with probably my favorite food that I eat every single day, we have my famous oatmeal recipe. I like to use a mixture of oats, preferably steel cut, rolled, and oat groats. I batch cook this with two cups at a time, and this step is crucial because adding half a mashed banana makes it so much sweeter and creamier. Another one of my favorite things to add is walnuts, but we were out when I was filming this, and these are the only nuts that I had, so I went to great lengths to make sure there was some crunch factor with these almonds. Then, if this is something you're thinking of packing to go, I have developed quite a good system requiring two containers. In the first one, put your oatmeal. This one should keep it nice and warm until you're ready to eat it. And I also added a mixture of hemp, chia, and flax seeds, and also some chia seed pudding that I made a few days ago. The second container is where you keep all of your toppings, where I added the other half of the banana, some raisins, dried coconut, grapes, and strawberries. Then when you're ready to eat, your toppings haven't gotten all soggy sitting around next to the oatmeal. I know, it's a genius method. Uh, and then I also added a square of chocolate and a date a little later. Next up, we have one of the easiest ways to make a sweet potato, which is literally wash it, cut it, and stick it in the oven at around 350 Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes, and make sure to check and stir it at least once. You can also put it in the microwave if it's super hot and you don't really feel like turning on your oven. The next meal is just a giant salad bowl, but it's way better the more toppings you add. I love kale, so that's what we're starting with. And then I added some other leaves to have more variety. And then instead of throwing out the kale stem, I like to eat it with a dip like guacamole or hummus, which I also use as a sort of salad dressing along with all the other toppings that I add. These are leftover mung beans, and this recipe is so good, so make sure to check the description for more information. Here are the sweet potato cubes that usually look better, but I was a bit distracted and came close to burning them, but I didn't, and they were still good. And that's the completed dish, which I have a different version of every night, depending on what we have and what we made for dinner. And chopsticks are the superior utensil, in my opinion. Okay, these beans deserve a standing ovation. I love them, my mom loves them, my dad isn't a huge fan, so to each their own. But they can seriously be added to anything. The oatmeal you packed earlier, the salad bowl you just made, or even save some for dessert. My dad's bok choy gets a special shout out. The way we make most veggies is just sauteing some onion and garlic and then adding the veg once those have caramelized a bit. Here's one example of what a typical dinner looks like for us. We have some leftovers, some freshly made stuff, a fruit board, and then everyone's individual bowl. You'd think that I would have perfected the art of tofu making a lot earlier, but I've just recently figured out that baking it will maintain its shape a lot better than cooking it on a stovetop will. So I like to marinate mine in sesame oil, rice vinegar, and soy sauce, and then put them in the oven around 350 for 20 to 30 minutes, flipping them halfway so that both sides get equally cooked. And the spring roll recipe is somewhat new to me too. I love spring rolls, but I just haven't made them in a while. So I love adding tofu to them. I added all the things that I could find that I thought would taste good in them. 
Some other great fillings are sweet potato and mango. Those go really well together. And I didn't make the sauce this time because I got home late from school and I was filming and I just didn't have time. But to make a really great peanut sauce, you can combine peanut butter with water and mix it up until it's liquidy and then dip the spring rolls in that and it is absolutely delicious. And sometimes you just need something a little sweet and satiating to tie it all together at the end of the day or in the middle of the day as a pick-me-up snack. This is desserty stuff, but honestly, for any time of day. We usually snack on fruit after finishing dinner and, as I said, literally for the entire day. Also, another great way to eat these beans is to mush them up with a sweetener. Here I tried date sugar, which wasn't as good as I was expecting, so I usually stick to erythritol. And one of my favorite desserts is a date with nut butter and nuts filling it. It's super satiating and all the different textures are just an impeccable combination. So I hope you got some inspiration of what you can pack, make, and eat because good food is just incredible. My criteria for food is to always strive to eat what's going to make me feel my best physically and mentally, which is something a little different each day. I'd love to know what your favorite foods are. Please let me know down in the comments where we can keep this conversation going. Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video.